Welcome to another night of the Halloween Horror Movie Marathon. Tyler, Dean, and Tim. Uh, we watched The Conjuring with Sexy Sexy Patrick Wilson. Yeah. All right. While he's drooling, acting. Four. Four? Yeah, it was really, 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 really good. Everybody was believable. No one had any weird lines. That well, I should say no one spoke any weird lines. There was one that you said, but I don't think that was the case. Yeah, I thought it was good. Bert, as the guest. Yeah, of course. Well, you have to have your own thoughts too sometimes. No. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, I will agree with you, although actually, um, I will also say four. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Definitely above average. I mean, everyone did a great job. Like you said, it was all believable, and none of their deliveries were too hokey. I thought it was good. Even the kids, and again, I know we've mentioned before, you know, child actors are one of the hardest things to get, and these were all pretty believable. So yep. yeah, definitely a four. Um, effects. Okay, I'll go first. I'm giving this a four too, actually. I thought the effects here looked really good. You know, when the girl got tugged toward the end of the bed, and then moving around to the living room, and then later toward the end with the wife being possessed, and I thought it looked really good. So, yeah, I definitely think a four for the effects. I mean, I wouldn't say it was perfect, but it was it was impressive. What are you thinking? Yeah, it's almost it. I'm torn. Now you don't want to go with four just because we did. No, I was between that or... Two. I'm going to give the effects a five. I'm gonna give him a five. I'm gonna do it. I mean, there were some great scenes. There was, you know, the woman on top of the dresser. And... No, that was stupid as shit. I hated that. Really? I hate it when. I thought that part was pretty decent. Nope. They I... kept her on screen for too long, though. When ghosts turn out to be just people in makeup. Fucking boring and stupid and feels cheap, and I hate it. Mm -hmm. I would rather see. I would rather see like a. Apparition that you can, you know, partly see through. None of none of the apparitions in this movie. Um, well, I like the that were in the water. I think they did. Yeah, well with that. Not see that was probably one of the ones I hated the worst. It just looked weird and cheesy and hokey and too CG ish and too super. Like our ideas. Um, I loved I loved when like the camera was taking pictures and it caught the apparitions mm -hmm. and when the when the exorcist lady wife came into the house and saw the spirits attached to the mom and dad and yeah. then to the kids. I like that kind of ghosting. But when it's an actual person mm -hmm. in, you know, just regular old style looking makeup, you know, white ghost face, that's terrible. But, that said, I'm still giving it a five because everything else was so phenomenally top notch that it gets a five. Yeah. Um, Alright, well then, story. <sighs> You guys go first. Um, you know, I think for story, I kind of want to give it a five. I thought the story was pretty good. I mean, it's the same as you had heard in a lot of movies, horror movies, you know. There was an old killer witch, whatever, and she died and condemned her property, and anyone that went there is haunted. And I mean, as far as hauntings go, it's kind of basic, but just the way they executed it, I thought was really well. I thought it did really good, and, you know, the ghosts, the ghost hunters, uh, they weren't like your standard ghost hunter. They came in, and they didn't even want to do the exorcism. They talked about the realistic problems of it, is you have to get it okay by the church, and this and that. And I don't know, I thought it was executed really well. It was well written. All the lines were good, and the dialogue between everyone. I thought, overall, the story was great. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a five. I know we nitpicked, but I don't think there's too many plot holes or too many major issues. What are you thinking? Well, I don't know. It was really good. I'd go five two. Why not? <laughs> good lord. Um. This is this is where I get hurt in the head, face, and the gut, because this movie, the way the the stuff that I like that it does, it does fantastically well, but at the other end of it. This story is just so boring to me. And I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like I love it and I hate it. 
it's boring and it's interesting. And I'm not talking about like just certain parts. I'm like the whole thing, the whole way through. You know. Um, we might have been able to do a little more story wise too, seeing how the big property and all that. Like yeah. I, I love the the possession in the end when they're exercising the wife, but the way that it leaves her is just so lackluster. Mm -hmm. I mean, all this build up to, oh, I love my kids. Uh, I'm gonna be better than the demon. Okay. What the fuck is that shit? Well, she also threw up the demon, so I mean, there's that. She got to puke out Satan. Yeah, but that's nothing special. I saw more puking the Family Guy episode we watched earlier tonight than I did in this movie. Yeah. Um. All right. Well then, I didn't give it a number. Well then, give it a number. I'm gonna okay. give it a three. Just a three. It was average. Yeah. I think I liked the effects so much, but the story itself was. All right. Horror! I think that's how the sentence ended. Scare Factor. You're gonna go first. Oh, come on. Come on. Original number here. Original number. Um, A real number. Original thought. So, one through five, no decimals. What'd you think? I'm gonna say four. <coughs> For those of you that didn't hear him, and that's everybody, uh, four, four, he said. Four. You know, thought four. Um, you know. I'm torn. She said it I'm, watching the movies I'm somewhere guess. between a three and a four. I don't really know. I mean, it had... It had some really good, scary imagery. It did have a lot of jump scares, but it also had just some good creep factor to it. Like, during the exorcism at the end, it wasn't jump scares. It was just really good, creepy imagery. And I mean, it definitely did things good. The chair going upside down, it didn't look like wire work. Yeah. It yeah, was that very naturally decent. flowing. The gun tipping over and yeah, shooting looked natural. And I know uh, the one that I thought was really good, the girl just getting tugged down on the bed. Like, that just looked really good. I know that falls under effects, but for, you know, Scare Factor, too, like... That was your favorite? That, I think that was probably my favorite bit then, of uh, all the little things. See, now I want to go into something, but I'm not going to because it's on video. I'll get it. I'll, I'll, I'll nitpick you after the video. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking, you know what? I might agree with you. I think I'm going to give it a four for Scare Factor. I thought it had some really good, creepy scenes, some really... Even the jump scares, I think, were okay. Like, a lot of times they feel out of place or overdone, or I feel like they're just relying on them because it's a cheap, quick scare. But here, I think they kind of fit. Mm -hmm. I think it did really well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm going four. I will also give it a four. I thought the... Yeah, visually, it was a great movie in the scare factor department. Um, the way the lights... Uh, they, they, they utilized matches or single light bulbs in a lot of shots. I mean, they was obviously lit extra, you know, extra wise, but like the way, like when she was floating in the chair and that one light was just moving back and forth. I yeah. don't know, for some reason that added to the creep factor for me. Like, I don't know, it just added to the realism of it. Yeah. I Actually, it was... another scene I forgot to mention, but that one when she's on the stairs toward the beginning. Yeah, and she, yeah. Two claps behind and that her. clap right from next to her, that was really cool. That was an impressive scene. See that demon face under the sheet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I gave it four as well. Also, yeah, two. All right. Well, before we just spoil every good scene in the movie, um, let's do this score thing. All right. So The Conjuring gets just about a four. Right? It's just over a four. I yeah, say. just over a four. Just over a four. So yeah, it's right where it needs to be. You know, story wise, it, it it's kind of the same as everything else, but. It makes up for everything else. Yeah, with the visuals and visually scaring and acting. Yep. Yeah. Worth a watch. Yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend, recommend this one. This was... This is definitely... This is an entertaining one. I mean, it's not going to be as scary or as unsettling as, like, the children. But it, it's going to be a good watch. It's a good time. It's got great effects. If you're not huge into horror movies, this will probably give you a good scare. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Highly recommend it. Any uh, closing thoughts there, Bert? Can I borrow the children? <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.